The owner of a Franklin daycare says his business and his staff are under attack. The Call 6 investigators reported earlier this month that the kid company daycare was accused of spraying a 10-year-old boy with bleach. And tonight, the daycare owner blames a vendetta that he says is growing more dangerous. Call 6 investigator Stephen Dean is here with the very latest twist in this bizarre story. Steve? Well, the mother who got two state agencies to launch investigations into Kid Company was an employee who was fired by that daycare. Now the daycare owner says he's going to court against her because of racist text messages, employees being followed in cars, and windows shattered at the daycare all since this unfolded. Franklin police have this surveillance footage of a ball bat being used to smash windows, forcing the daycare to close for a day. Owner Prashith Sarivastiva says it's part of a campaign to hurt his business. Oh my gosh, I've been living a nightmare. He reported to Franklin police that the ex-employee who accused his staff of spraying bleach on her son, causing splotches of color to vanish from his shirt, has been trying to get even with him. It has caused me... Uh, heartache. It has caused me a lot of stress. It's caused my employees a lot of stress. She had been terminated from her job. She was upset by that. And now it's turned into a, a campaign of trying to, to get back at Kidco. Attorney Andy Baldwin says he's going to court this week to keep the ex worker away from the daycare. The reason is, is that the owner is. is scared his employees are scared scared because the daycare owner says after the windows were shattered employees were followed by the fired worker and she sent him racist and threatening texts uh, of course he's gonna say that to cover his own butt Sally Southard admits to sending the nasty text, but only to get the final paycheck she was owed. But she denies harassing anyone beyond that, and she says she had nothing to do with shattering the windows. I know that place has got cameras all around it. I would not be... Two state agencies investigated, but they could not substantiate the bleach spray spraying claims. Now, the owner calls that vindication for his whole staff. Police tell us they don't have enough to charge anyone with the window vandalism, but they are still investigating at this hour. Stephen Dean, RTV6.